this was the first one I made from a tree in Baina Karaka in the, in the south of the island. And as it's from the south, it can't be played by a northern player. Bad things would happen. This is um, the stick which Pat Griffiths, the, the uh, notorious Kamig player from the south, uses. I'm not sure what the wood is. It's a strange wood which is washed up on the beach. This is a stick in three halves, as they say. I'm not sure what the root was, but I think it's beach. This is ash, unjin in Manx, and it's, it's joined by a scarf joint there, a lovely scarf joint, which I hope will hold. And the end piece, the cap, was just fancy, it doesn't have to have this. This is from a coal boat, a wooden coal boat, which I found on the beach. All the dust and the bilge water has got into the oak, and when you turn it, it just looks like ebony. So this having a northern top would be played by a northern player. This other fella, this is towards the Camog stick. Now we call it Camog. In Ireland they call it Camog. And in the 1900s they brought a team of girls from Ireland um, to play against the Isle of Man. And they brought the Camog sticks. And the Camog sticks they used were ash. And they are to this day. Shinty, Camog, and I'm sure Camog were ash sticks. This is a composite. I had bits of ash left over from a job, and bits of mahogany. And they were tiny, thin strips, only about an eighth of an inch. So I put them all together and glued them and bent them round a former, and left it for about five days. And I came back, cleaned it all up, and that's uh, a modern Camog stick. And uh, you can't say it isn't, because we've got nothing to compare it with. So if this ever goes in the museum, this will be the definitive Camog stick. Last but not least, this one here is Holland or Holly. This one's made from Holly. You can see the actual tree, and this was the branch that come off it. So you just take two cuts, and you've got an instant Camog stick. You don't need to go on eBay or uh, Amazon. You just go out the back door, with a saw and cut off a piece of branch and now you have a perfect camming stick.